Barkley I met and he was just like, hey, what you doing, young man? I see you, you guys getting ready to shoot your show. I mean, that was a good Barkley. On, thank you. It kind of sounded like Dr. Phil halfway through, though. Okay. <laughs> Freeland, an expert sports analyst. And I'm J.D. Witherspoon, a comedian and professional gamer. Some people would consider me an expert. We're at the Direct TV studio answering viewers' questions about how to get ready and stay ready for the big game. Let's kick it off. Okay. How big is your advantage in your fantasy football leagues? Mine? Yours, personally. The reality is, is I play a lot against people who are also really good at fantasy and they're experts too. So. My advantage is not very big, though I did win our NFL Network Fantasy Live trophy last season, but I won by less than a full point. It was like a .8 of a point. So is it a huge advantage. Yeah, that's talented. I've, I've never won. I, I just put my money in and play with my friends, and then they're like, your, your money's gone. So it's like a donation. Yeah. Great. Do you want to play in my league? <laughs> Who would be on the top of your vision board to work with other than me? <laughs> Top of my vision board. Listen, I think I would just connect with people who influence me and people that I look up to. Maybe Barack Obama's up there. Maybe I hit up Barack and I'm just like, yo, Barack, you know, maybe teach me this, this political game and uh, we can play some Politics next. I, breaking news breaking here. Breaking news. We've got a future politician here. What about you? Oh, yeah. What's on your vision board? I mean, does it get better than Serena Williams? That career, yeah. she's the GOAT. It doesn't get better than Serena. We're so lucky to have had her, so can I, Serena, if you're, if you're watching. <laughs> well, here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question, here sure. we go. They say never meet your role models, so have you ever met any role models that exceeded your expectations or were disappointing? I got a chance to work with Charles Barkley. Oh! It, and <laughs> I thought it was gonna be incredible. It, <laughs> it, from start to finish, he couldn't have been better. After the whole thing was done, he took literally everyone who was on set and brought him to the craps table, gave him some chips, and they played craps because we were in Vegas. Oh, so, cool. except for me because I work for the NFL and I do not gamble when I'm working. Got a Barkley story because I used to work on a show for TBS, shot down the hall from inside the NBA. Barkley I met and he was very funny. He was just like, hey, what you doing, young man? I see you, you guys getting ready to shoot your show. Have you been canceled yet? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> he was just... I mean, that was a good Barkley. Un, thank you. Unapologetically himself. It kind of sounded like Dr. Phil halfway through, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a poor performance, and how did you recover from a poor performance? As a entertainer, I would say probably the scariest part, for me at least, with stand-up, is when you don't have enough material to fit the time slot that you're given. Mm -hmm. A club or a venue will be like, hey, you got 20 minutes on this show. If you're just starting out and you know you got like a really nice 10, it's like, all right, I got 10 minutes that I can rely on. And then it's like, what are we doing for that back 10? And it feels like an eternity. Or maybe like a flub on TV. I feel like I've read a prompter wrong once or twice, but for me, I don't ever stop. I'll just make fun of the flub. I'll be like, wait a minute, those aren't words. That I is truly the only way to get through it. I've said names wrong. Oh. Um, I've said the wrong person. I've mixed names, conflated names. That's my favorite one. All right, so if you could play any sport on any team, any position, what would it be and why? Look, I'm from Michigan. Mm -hmm. The 04 Pistons? Yes, honey. Give me all of that. Give me all the Rip Hamilton wearing the, the yep. mask. Yep. And like all of the drama. And it was such a team sport. And it, you'd, you'd get out there and the, the announcer would be like, Chauncey, boop, 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 If I could be any position right now, I would be a really, really amazing lockdown corner. I like the trash that they talk, the swagger, like I like all of it. I'm like, I would probably be Jair Alexander, who plays for the Packers, because I, I just like really love his style. I totally embody defensive back. I think, like right now, I'd want to play on the Warriors, but I don't even want to be in Stephen Curry's shoes. I want to be the dude who just passes it to him for those game winning shots. I just want to be like, Steph. <laughs> Assist. <laughs> like I just want and I want to I just want to be like, I passed the ball, y'all. Like, I did that. Like, I did that. that. I think it's pretty funny that like both of us did not pick quarterback or shooting guard or point guard. I like, don't need to be the best guy. I don't either. <laughs> I actually I, I like I just like the I like the one that you're like, ooh, that we're, one. You have to we're like, supportive no. people. That's what we, it we is. Are so, that's we're what so, it is. That's why we're fast See, friends here. Thanks for joining us at the Direct TV studio. This was Game Day Advice.